another banger. In today's episode, I'm trying to learn fake 50s uh, on a round a wheel. Let's go. All right, we back out here. I'm starting off uh, just trying to learn the Nolly uh, Front Smith randomly, man. I'm just He's trying to coming, go hard Rena. to paint today. I feel like I'm getting on a Nolly Smith. You gotta get on this side, though. Maybe. Hey, no, no, no. Stay on this Cause I realize if I'm doing Nolly front lip, that's almost a Nolly Smith if I'm just put the truck on. Whoa. Oh, so as usual, there's only 6% battery. I don't know how I came out here and did charge the phone again, y'all. So I'm just looking at how it should be on the rail. Look how the lock-in is. And uh, cause now I barely got any time. 6% battery is vicious. All right, I got a lock-in right there. But I got a huge problem that I didn't realize until I actually watched the video. I need new trucks. Uh, my kingpin is all the way exposed. So every time I do any kind of uh, Smith, any kind of feeble anything like that the kingpin sticks on the rail and throws me out i didn't realize that until watching uh later and looking at my board it also looks like if i had to lean back more bent my knees didn't lean before before i pop it started way earlier it would have been much easier This is the closest I got to the Nolly Front Smith, uh, but oh. I ended up just having to leave it alone, man, because my kingpin kept scraping. So I'm gonna go for uh, the Nolly Front 50, or uh, Fakey Front 50, which I don't think I barely ever see anyone doing on a round rail because it's freaking hard. Ooh, it's gonna be smoking if I don't get it, boy. If I follow that, boy. Probably be easier to do the Nolly front 50 because you don't got to come out switch. Let's I almost go. rolled my ankle just now. Thank God I might be having my shoes on loose. That's like a hack uh, I learned from John Bradford. I'll never Let's have my, go. look at that. If my shoes was on tight, I'd have broke my ankle just now, swear. But my shoes be loose, so anytime I'm getting ready to turn my ankle, my shoe just comes off. Like I, I, I always do that now. I don't. That's why I don't tie my shoes real tight. Cause if your shoe twists, your ankle twists. If my, if my shoe twists, my shoe just comes off and my ankle is fine. A lot of people think, oh no, you need it tighter. I don't think so. Let's go. Hey, put in the comments if you uh tie your your shoes tight when you skate. Cause I'd bring man, listen, I'd have been had a broke ankle if I did. Four percent battery is low key a shot clock. Look, I'm trying to speak myself there. I'm done. It's over. You gotta speak it, man. I just continue to tell myself I can do anything, and I believe it. And then I see myself doing the trick. Once I can see myself doing it, it's getting done.
At this point, I'm convinced anything I can do on a ledge, I can do on a rail and maybe more. Like I'm gonna start trying to learn every single one of my ledge tricks on the on this rail, and then I once I get it on this, I want it on a bigger one than this, and then I'm gonna try to take it down rail. Like 50, 50, 50 down a rail is is scary. Like, if you ever see somebody do that, they on one, trust me. Or they're just a beast. Like, down a handrail, fakey 50 is nuts. Like, there's people that are sponsored and pro that, like, cannot fakey 50 50 a handrail right now. Maybe Nolly, but fakey is crazy, in my opinion. Like, what do y'all think would be harder on a round rail? Fakie 50 or Nolly 50? Put it in the comments. Like, for real, I need y'all to jump in the comments on this one. Because I'm going to learn. I'm gonna try to learn Nolly 50 on the rail, too. Because when you jump up there fakie, that means you're landing into a switch 50-50. And I think it's harder to switch 50 a round rail than a Nolly into a regular 50. But at this point, I figured out the concept of the trick. So now I just got to work it out with my body. It was a trick. Let's go. Bro, as soon as I, as soon as I change some things, almost stuck it. I'm telling you it's about to happen it right now. It was a now. trick. I'm going to have to fakey ollie out of it. Man, next time I'ma just try to do the whole rail. I think it'll just be way cooler to do the whole thing. Scarier, but cooler. But I mean, that's why I like this rail. I mean, I can skate this rail for two hours and not really get hurt because I'm extremely coordinated and it's not that high. Bro, that was like a fakey switch front. Smith was about to pop off if I had kept my foot on there. I'ma keep that in mind because I might run that too. There was something about that last fall that snapped me into savage mode. Savage mode engaged. Let's go. Let's go. Standing on business job, out here, man. boy. Somebody put standing on business in the comments. Bro, with a broken arm. Stop playing with me, Let's man. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, hon. Yo, hopefully I earned your subscription today. If I didn't keep watching the videos, y'all check out that playlist, man. It's fire. So I got the real cast on my arm. Uh, I'm going to explain that in the next video. Uh, I might drop it tomorrow, maybe the day after, but... Uh, I'm going to definitely explain because I, at first I was just going to have the splint and they told me to go get the cast. I ain't going to get it. What I did is keep the splint on for a whole nother week and skate. And then I was like, ooh, this is sweet because now I can just take this thing off whenever I feel like it when I'm at home. And so I can just be chilling and it won't be irritating. But y'all already know what happened. The same thing my wife told me was going to happen, that I went out skating and then I fell on it. Because the other one just had like a hard piece on this back part of your arm, but the front, it was soft. It was just wrapped around with this uh, like ace bandage and gauze and wrap and whatever else. But it was definitely soft on this whole front part. So like it kind of kept you from stable if you were like laying down. But if you were to fall this way on your wrist, uh, it literally... Like, I re-broke it in a whole nother spot. Well, first it was just broken on the, I think, by my thumb side. Now it's broken on the pinky side, too, on the wrist. Both two spots on the wrist now. Um, And it wasn't that session. And it wasn't the video before session. If y'all saw the video before, I did the, uh, I was learning back feeble. And then uh, I need new trucks. Because if you... If your trucks get down too burnt out, you get down to that kingpin. And if you start doing Smiths, Feebles, any of them kind of grind, 
it'll just stick into the rail and throw you off. That's what happened. And then I end up getting um, getting hurt. That's really why I couldn't get that Nolly back Smith and Nolly front Smith, I guess. I just was about to learn that. I got one, but I was like, yeah. Oh, it definitely wasn't it, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I slow mode it. But y'all know that wasn't it. It was close, though. And uh, But the kingpin was digging in and then pushing my board down instead of letting it come off. So I'm going to have to get some new trucks, at least a back truck, because they're really down to the thing. I saw that happen. I saw me when I did a 50-50 all the way across the rail in my other video. If you listen, it's like, it's making a noise, and it's not a grinding sound. It's a kingpin cutting into the metal sound. And when I looked at the rail, there's like a cut on the metal. So like it's definitely time for new trucks. And then if you watch my short, I think it's up to 10,000 views right now getting stupid. Uh, where I 50 50 that street ledge and it was st it stuck. First of all, I rode up to it three times. I looked at it, I jumped right out the car. I didn't have wax, I wasn't warmed up. I had just got my cast. No, 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 did I get the cast yet? No, 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 I just came from physical therapy. Went there, I'm like, man, let me see what's up with this. I had no wax, so I had some deodorant, y'all. I waxed the legs with some deodorant real quick. I'm like, all right, this is about to be fire. It's feeling slick, too. But it wasn't enough. I scraped my uh, truck hard on the legs, like <sighs> trying to just grind it down a little bit so it won't be as crazy. Uh, and I've done this before. It's worked. <laughs> Not today, Linda. I went up there, bro. As soon as I touched that joint, poof. It didn't throw me because I knew it was going to happen, so I rolled up slow. It stuck immediately. I tried a little faster. stuck again. When I show you all the whole video, you'll see it was zero run-up. You had to come at this angle, and it, the grounds were horrible. At the bottom of where I was going to land, it was gravel. It was a grass patch. It was dirt. I mean, even if I would have landed it, I would have had to land. I probably would have got smoked. But I cleaned the spot off. I'm going to show the whole video of me cleaning the spot off, using the deodorant as wax, uh, like trying to make it work. And then uh, two or three times I stuck. First I was playing like not committing. Then I after, like twice. Then I start committing to it. Stuck three. One of them grinded a little bit. That gave because I was about to stop because I was like I feel like I'm gonna get hurt if I don't stop this. And then because I felt myself when I earlier when I tried it, I slipped on the deodorant a little bit when I was trying to get out of it. It was like way slipperier than wax. And you saw there was a down part of the ledge. Uh, if you not haven't seen this, go watch my new short, dog. It's 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 dope right now. But yeah, so anyway, I I went because it grinded a little bit. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get this. I'm a savage, <laughs> dog. I went back, not going fast enough, not leaning back enough. I should have leaned a little more, but anyway, I got up there and then immediately my kingpin this time was uh just stuck right into this little groove that was there. And this stop like breaks. When I tried to bail out of it, I took a step and I think I just slipped because when I, as soon as my foot touched that ledge, it was deodorant on it. It was like it was so slippery. I got a lot of words to baby oil, man. I'm not doing that again. It seemed like the good idea. Like y'all ain't never done that, anybody. Come on, bro. Y'all ain't never used something else besides wax before, bro. Like it just seemed like such a fresh idea. I thought I had bent the matrix. <laughs> And tell me, yo, you couldn't tell me I didn't bend the matrix with that. I'm like, yo, I got one, bro. This is crazy. This is about to be so sick. And then I got smoked. And what happened was I rebroke my same wrist, yo. Not in the, uh, but in a whole different spot. So yeah, it's going to be six weeks and, uh, with this cast on. I'm going to drop the video. I was in the doctor's office like, hey, man, could you make this thing skatable? <laughs> uh, Y'all going to see it in the next video. Anyway, man, thank you for the support. Savage family, let's go. Boy, we about to hit 17 sliding on everybody. Savage hat. Y'all like this? This is smoking on one. Look at that. Uh, stop. Merch coming soon. Let's go. Yeah, man, y'all support the videos, watch the videos, rewatch the videos, watch the videos on slow-mo, so maybe if you want to learn some of the tricks, the Emmer Burial Hill, I got some slow-mos in there, y'all better peep it if you want to learn that. The Trey video, the fakey Trey video, and just some of the old ones in the archive, run up that playlist, Savage Life!